everybody welcome back to the channel thank you so much for tuning in today welcome to all my new subscribers and thank you for those who continue to tune in from week to week we are going to go ahead and jump into this video <laughs> first of all two things so excited um one i have hit my weight loss my next weight loss milestone and so that video will be coming up next week sunday y'all know from my last video i was fighting through um a couple pounds and so yes so i even surpassed um what i was looking for <clears throat> but anyway so i'm excited about that so stay tuned for next week sunday because i'll have an update with sewing and all of that i was asked um for um pattern suggestions during weight loss um that's actually a good question because you all know i have um lost quite a bit of weight and have quite a bit more to lose um and so i'm gonna do that video i'm gonna slide that video in this month and i'm gonna do that one after the weight loss video so i'm gonna add an extra video in um because i think that's a that's a great question thank you so much um for that also um pointed out in the last video besides that was also you guys are so excited for the upcoming um sewing series that i'll be bringing to the channel i am excited about it too um so definitely say stay tuned for all of that um and as far as the the color analysis yes i am definitely looking forward to it and i actually have on one of um y'all know purple is my color um and so this is actually my kalayla ali i just made this in february the um i'll pop up the pattern here um but i just made this in february so i thought i would pop it on today because i am yes excited about these colors being done y'all um and seeing how close i was and all of that good stuff so yeah uh very very excited about it you will notice my hair is back into its natural um this is actually a twist out those uh there's a lot of people to actually ask in my comments or dm me about my hair in videos and i never um occasionally mentioned but it's just a twist out um and for those who don't know yes the shrinkage is real and she's actually going back up into a protective style um in a few days so yeah anyway so um just to uh address those and stay tuned for wednesday um i'm so excited to be talking about so maxi for mother's day so um yes yeah, stay tuned for um wednesday's video um i will be um have a special video all about that you don't want to miss that it's going to be a good one pattern picks fabric all that good stuff so let's jump into what this video is about um first of all yes i will do a sew with me for um the ingrid you all know how um um how i i tend to like to do um uh, my sewing walls I, I, I try to be as detail oriented as i can and i know um at least i try my best not always perfect um but um the i always like to try to go through the pattern first especially a bra y'all know i've made several bras i've showed them here on the channel um but i like to work through the instructions if i have you know special comments or whatever and i do i wrote down quite a, a few little notes throughout this particular pattern that i thought oh that's not so clear or you know um things like that that i think may help when i do the sew with me so yes i will do it but let's talk about this ingrid bra so um you all know from my last video i was going to be talking about this bra <laughs> And I made all kind of mistakes, y'all. So, yeah. I can't, I'm not doing it so long until I get this. And so, um, yeah, let me just walk you through what it is. So, here is the bra um, right here. And let me see if you eagle eyes out there can um, already pick up one of the problems um, on this bra. We might see a couple problems. <laughs> okay so starting with the ingra bra i am convinced that this is going to be my everyday bra pet so the bra that i will wear every day you all um notice and this collar is just giving me see how that flipped back over whatever um, you all know that 
from um, my previous video. I said for I do not like wearing the those plunging neckline type bras. I hate those bras for everyday wear. For everyday wear. Now, if I'm um, wearing a special dress, because you all know my cami, um, my go-to cami is the. Re this is going to bother me. The Rebecca Page. Um, guess what we're gonna do? Yep, I'm doing that. We're gonna clip that down because that's gonna get on my nerves, and I'm not changing. But <laughs> you all know uh, for the Rebecca Page Cami, um, I've said in previous videos when I've made the um, what was it, the LED wrap dress by Closet Core Patterns, um, the Butterick wrap dress. I think I, I may have mentioned in that video as well. But the thing is, um, for those type garments i wouldn't mind um doing the cami with the lace i've mentioned that before um because then i will wear a different bra so i didn't have to wear the solid color cami especially in the summertime sometimes it could be hot even still doing that and so this is i am convinced this will be my perfect everyday bra um and yeah I, i'm convinced this will be my perfect everyday bra putting it together seeing how the coverage is on it um yeah i'm thinking so now i am going to do just so you all know i am going to do um this bra which is more of that plunge this is the daisy bra and this is by stitch love studio um i will be doing um doing this bra for dresses like that LED where I want to do the um the lace uh cami um but these are for me special occasion bras this is not something I will wear every day because this would annoy me to no end to wear something like this every day but I do like the um coverage and everything in the back and so I will be doing this one after um after the ingrid uh but i will do the sew with me for the ingrid so anyway let's jump into um this pattern so um you all know i've done the pinup girls before pinup bra the classic bra several times right so with this pattern this pattern was released in 2018 i cannot remember the exact date that the classic the classic has been out for years and so um anyway there are two different ways that you measure yourself um initially and now with the ingra bra they have the bottom cup depth measurement that you do to determine the cup size and so it's on their website i left the links to the website and everything in the previous video but i'll also leave it here they have the um facebook group all that um plenty information on um met doing the bcd method which is the bottom cup depth so what you're doing is you're measuring from the wire line seam following the curve of the breast up to the breast point um and this is the number that you would use so i did that and i was thinking wow that's going to determine the um the size cup huh and so i didn't think nothing of it y'all i was so excited and gung-ho on doing this I should have paid more attention and so I did and I measured that spacing and it came out to five five and a quarter a little yeah five no it was a little under but I rounded it up to five and a quarter and I measured the rib cage rib cage for me is 36 inch the rib uh cage on this is absolutely a perfect fit um the findings the fabric and findings now the actual fabric um for this I use I stuck to one um company it was tailor-made shop I had bought this kit if you remember in the previous video I done I bought a kit um off of tailor-made shop their Etsy shop and so it came with some laces it came with the duoplex it came with the mesh it came with um foam it came it came with a, a bunch of little stuff it was just a like a grab bag you didn't know exactly what you you were going to get or the colors you but you knew um the different types of things you were going to get so I'll link them again tailor-made shop from Etsy so I used that um, the findings <clears throat> um, which are like the slider the ring the um, yes the slider and the ring I have used that from uh, who is that stitch love studio the pattern I was just talking about now the 
hook and eye was a continuous tape which i am discovering this is what it looks like i actually have it right here this is how much i have left um which i'm thinking i don't like these the continue i and for the life of me i don't remember who i bought this from which company this came from um because as I talked about before that I needed to organize all of my bra materials and findings and elastics so I know what is what because yeah I did have a hard time trying to figure out oh what was that what was that so I had to go back and look on the um because I kept the the printouts that came with all my stuff to know oh that's what that is that so but I, I want to section as organized as I am you would think I've done that already but I have not and I cannot not remember the life of me where I bought the continuous tape from I feel like it was an Etsy shop but I'm not a hundred percent I don't think I like this um it's not as clean um meaning I mean I don't like for the hook you have to fold it over and then sew it on because you know I had issues with this when I made my uh, Rebecca page it was this a sports bra um, but I made it to a lounge around house and I didn't like the way that went on even though I did it better this time as you can all see it's it's let me see if I can it's on here fine it looks good but I don't think I, I don't know that I like it we shall see anyway so after doing all of the measurements and everything and i will have quite a few tips in the sew with me about um cutting this out make sure you use the 18 millimeter rotary cutter so small and so useful let me show you what it looks like okay so if you don't have this and you're thinking about um doing the sew with me for the angry get get one it's about this size very small 18 millimeter um, and this one is by, um, uh, this is Ofa. Yeah, this is a Ofa 18 millimeter rotary cutter because the pieces are so small and everything and it cuts through the fabric and everything in the foam perfectly. Um, but yeah, I highly suggest, um, getting that, um, getting one of those, but anyway, um, and make sure you organize all your, your findings, your bra materials, all that good stuff. So what's used for the cups here is the duoplex and then what's used here is the power mesh and what's used here for the um side band here is power mesh and i doubled mine up for extra support and um then you have your bra last your bra elastic which is in here the foam is in here and then down here you have your bottom um, band elastic um, but i'll go into more details about what to get during that uh sew with me but let's go ahead and jump into this why i think this will be a perfect bra though the foam in these straps love 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 now i'm sure you can add foam to any bra pattern straps that you would like um but i like that that part is already done for you here um in the ingra bra so it so you don't have to feel like it's just um digging or something it, it's just that extra padding i like that and i do like the um and for me it makes the the strap feel more sturdy so if this was just fabric with no padding i would have felt like it wasn't as sturdy um but it definitely feels uh, super sturdy now where did I go wrong on this in so many places but this was my muslin I am for those who are wondering I am going to take all of the findings off and reuse these I am going to unpick which is not hard because it's only sewn down here on the sides I'm going to unpick and reuse the hook and eye um, and I am what else I'm going to reuse besides the findings the hook and eye um, I may no I won't be able to reuse the elastic if I can get the, this elastic off which I should be able to because I'm gonna um, reuse these findings I will reuse this elastic as well um, which is the um, where you put the slider on that adjustable the adjustable part of the uh, bra strap that I will um, unpick that with no problem um and so yeah so what went wrong with this y'all my fist is about the only thing that fit in this my fist <laughs> don't laugh at me yes my fist y'all know 
I'm telling y'all, I've been, I feel like I've been wearing a bra, needing to wear a bra pretty much since Moses parted the Red Sea, okay? And so, um, <laughs> this here, I don't know why, because I kept referencing, I, and I have them here, they're um, my other bras that I made, which is here and one is on the floor. That one's kind of dirty, so I don't want to hold that up. Um, but as much as I was paying attention to my other, um, bras, what I was looking for are, um, when it would, um, when you need to add the elastic around the armhole around the bottom, I wanted to remember how I did that. Cause sometimes the instructions, like I said, the instructions were a little tricky here and there. So I would just look at my old bra and say, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. that's how I put that on. Yep. Got it and I kept it moving or I did a certain section this way or that way or use this stitch or that stitch so I was good to go um <clears throat> um yeah that but <clears throat> the one thing I wasn't paying attention to which is the most important thing when making a bra is the cup size hello somebody this is my fist that's about that's all that's going in here we're not putting the girls not going up in here <clears throat> And when I put it, when I put it on, mind you, rib cage, the absolute perfect fit, felt so good. And then when I went to go put it around, um, put it up on my shoulders and everything, I was like, what in the, nothing was, these girls was, wasn't going in here. Um, so that BCD method, I'm not going to do again. Um, could have done something wrong but the instructions are real clear this is all you do this is where you measure and it it also said um let me uh keep it real to measure a previous bra that fits you well well my previous bras were the um fit me better but not as perfect as i would like so i was like eh, i don't know i don't know but come on let me just show you this classic just so y'all know here is the other classic bra that I made. Oops, let me see if you can see that. See that? See that? And if I were to lay, <laughs> why wasn't I paying attention to this during the construction? I don't know. Here, here she is. She nice, big, and full. If I were to lay this one I just made over this, oh my gosh, this literally, this black bra is literally, y'all, let me see if I can hold covering the bottom part of this bra, uh, like right here, this small section right here, and all it is. So, no, I am going to need to, um, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go back because I have my notes on my classic, how I measured this, because the classic actually comes with what well, does not use. If you buy the um, the Pinup Girls Classic Bra and you have um, access to Craftsy, you can um, follow the uh, Beverly Johnson, who is the creator behind Pinup Girls um, Bras. You can follow along with her to make the Classic Bra on Craftsy, um, and so that's what I did when I made um, when I made the the other ones three I think I made um and so yeah that's what I did um and plus she goes in there if you have extra fabric in certain places how to take that out adjustments really really detailed really really good um but why wasn't I paying attention y'all as I was I was just so I was yeah I just was just way too excited and um even when I was putting it together why I didn't look to see this is nowhere near the same size as this I mean come on Look at that. Don't hold these together, right? This looks like this fits over my head, but it really covers my breast. <laughs> and this is just covering up my balled up fist. Um, so I wanted to come in with that update, give y'all a chuckle. I hope y'all laughed, seriously. Um, but what I am going to do, I'm not going to do this BCD method. The, the ingrid goes up to a really good size. It starts at that whole bottom cup um, um, depth measurement starts from a 2.75, which obviously is really, really small. And it goes all the way up to nine inches. I'm pretty convinced I'm closer to that nine inch 
pretty convinced. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty convinced. I, I'm well up there. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I just wasn't paying attention. Um, but I'm convinced this is the bra, y'all. So here's what we're going to do. Um, I am going to do another one. Um, work on the, the cup size because everything else feels absolutely fabulous. I love the strap length, um, that type thing. Um, the rib cage fitting, the band fit perfectly. But yeah, we got to get that cup together and that's really going to tell the story. So what I am going to do, because like I said, I have Wednesday's videos coming up um, talking about So Maxi for Mother's Day. Then I have um, the weight loss video and then pattern suggestions. After that, I should have um, pattern suggestions for weight loss. I should have my next one done because I'm like so anxious. The only thing I'll have to get is more hook and eye because this is all I have left. Um, and like I said, I'm pretty convinced that this is going to be my my go-to everyday uh, bra pattern. I can play with, you know, putting lace and all that stuff on here. But so far as this style and the coverage is going to give me, granted it's not giving me nothing but my fist right now. But y'all y'all know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm thinking this is definitely going to be the bra. So um, the bra pattern. And then after that, I will have the uh, the Daisy for a different look for special occasion uh, outfits. This is not, again, this is not a bra I will wear every day. This will annoy the heck out of me. Um, but one-offs here and there, that'll work. <clears throat> So stay tuned. Um, let me know down in the comment section. Make sure if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. Don't forget to thumbs up this video on your way out. Um, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. I hope you got a laugh out of this because initially I was thinking, ah, do I want to do a video? I was like, no, let me share this with y'all. Let me share it. And um, if you've done the Ingra bra, um, did you follow the BCD method or did you follow the old method that pinup girls had you do for measuring because that's what i'm going to do in order to get the proper um cup size for my ingrid um i don't know i don't like that bcd method again unless i was doing something wrong but i, I don't think so i just follow what it said but anyway y'all that's it that's all i got for you today again stay tuned for wednesday's video quite excited about that and then the weight loss video and then patterns suggested for transitioning um as you're losing weight um i, I know a whole heck of a lot about that um, so um because it's been an interesting process and journey and like i said i still have quite a bit um ways to go but most definitely i will be sharing all of that so stay tuned um definitely hit the bell um, let me know your comments down below and yes, everybody, we will see you on Wednesday. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in today. You all have a blessed start to your week and I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye.